Welcome in, baseball fans. And here in New York, the show has an AL East matchup. It's the Toronto Blue Jays taking on the New York Yankees. Alongside Chris Singleton, I'm John Chambi. And seeing the big bat in the lineup so far this year, Aaron Judge. He leads the team and wins above replacement. So most days, you can expect him to be a big factor for these guys. Yeah, Boog, he's definitely a huge piece of the puzzle for this ball club right now. He's just having a really nice year. And that's on both sides of the ball, not just offensively. You talk to guys in the clubhouse, the coaching staff, they always have great things to say about him. And they say the team really looks to him to be one of the on-field leaders day in and day out. So just about set now. Our starter in this one, Nestor Cortez Jr. And Singy, it's unique these days, but he's more of a pitch-to-contact type of guy. Yeah, Boogie, he doesn't rely too heavily on the strikeout. He knows he needs to miss barrels, get some soft contact, let the defense do work behind him. And I think a guy like that can keep a good tempo, don't give hitters time to adjust or think. They can move through a ball game, and you look up, they're in line for a quality start. We'll see what he's got in this one. Down the line. And that will drop foul. And here it comes. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. Good fish right there. Tied him up on the hands. If I'm out there on the ball, I'm going right back in there. Just missed. He's a good ball hitter, so even if you get him to chase pitches outside the zone, he still might beat you. Not an easy out by any means. And a pitch. Foul ball still a one and two count. Kicks and fires. That to right. Dives, but it's off his glove. Base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. With the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a long dart in there, and he found a way. Kevin Kiermeyer stands in now and watches strike one. Inside just missed. Runner at first with no outs here. Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. There's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders. Have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Judge brings it in. Two down. Let's take a look at our lineup. This has been a good, productive lineup so far this year, currently ranking among the better teams in terms of total hits and runs per game. Well, you know this lineup sees it as very important to put the ball in play, Boog. I mean, this is an age where strikeouts are up so high and players are swinging and missing going for the fences, but if you can increase that contact rate, you can be a dangerous club. You get more runners on base, then all of a sudden when that big swing comes through, you're plating more runs. So we'll see if this pitcher can get some soft contact. Let the defense work behind her. George Springer in the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Cortez checks over to first. And he's back. Two outs. That's and a good eye there. Really good take, especially with two strikes. At 
with the belt and fires. Just misses with that one. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. And now two and two. The underhand flip. Got they him. take the force out. And that'll do it. One left for Toronto. And now the Bombers will get their shot. No score. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Tell me what you know and we're back. And today's starter, Jose Barrios. And Chris, pitching on the road has not been particularly kind to him. Yeah, and you don't want to be too quick to say that he can't pitch on the road. Sometimes you go. You know, it's just a matter of luck. It's not having a feel. Difference between the road the mound to the mound out there on the playing field. Don't know what it is, but I know this. He's got good enough stuff to overcome and get it done on the road as well as at home. So we'll see what he's able to do in this one. Yeah, the right-hander deals. That one finds the zone. Goal and two. Well, he's gotten ahead with two pitches down in the zone. He has plenty of options right here. He can go up. He can go away. He can add velocity. He can one subtract. In the dirt. One and two to count. We'll chase that time. Great job of laying off those pitches down in the zone to even the count up at two and two. Such a better feeling for the hitter. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he's there with a leadoff double. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Alex Verdugo. Homer to the ball game yesterday afternoon. Bounce to the left side. Perdomo. Zips it to yeah. first. One gone bottom half of the first. Batting third. The center field. Here's a look at Aaron Boone's lineup for the Yankees. A really frustrating showing for them in their last game. Lots of traffic on the bases, but they left a ton of runners on base. Couldn't cash in their chances, Chris. They had plenty of chances. There's nobody to blame it on but themselves offensively. They just did a poor job converting in those situations. You have to figure out what's your plan going to be. Maybe watch some tape from the last game. Make the adjustment. So if you get those opportunities in this one, you've got a much better chance of scoring some runs. Just missed. Two balls, no strike. That's in there. He must have been looking for something else because he gave up on that pitch a little early. It was right down Main Street. Probably not going to see a better pitch to hit in this at bat. Oh, Next one outside. is off the play. Three and one. And that's ball four. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. Oh, wait, wait. So run out with two aboard. Here's one solo went deep in the ball game last night. And there's the strike. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. The pitch. Just missed. Two on, one out. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Oh. 
Oh, and another ball. You know, we used to say, if you're scared, get a dog. Throw the fastball, man. If you're scared, get a dog, man. Just, just get a dog. And the pitch. And that's downstairs and outside. Runners at first and second with one gone here in the second game of the series. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. And he deals. Bounce to the right. And that one finds its way through. Throw back in. Holds the runner at third. Base is now loaded. Only one away. Nice at bat right there. Not just the result, but also seeing a lot of pitches. Can't really work out there on the mound. Just one of those seen high base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. One down. Austin Wells will hit next. Golden opportunity right here. And that's outside. And that is ball one. Right through there for a strike. One ball, Lots of one pitches strike. thrown in this first inning. It's kind of that nightmare scenario for starting pitching. But you know what? It's still early enough. He can settle in. He can get some length if he just cleans up his mechanics a little bit. Here comes a pitch. That one not close. And a count to it all. And I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. And now two and two. First inning going a bit long. 23 pitches to this point. Out towards right center field. Kiermaier sizing this one up. Squeezes it. Runner tags for third. The throw is off line, and he's in the score. On the board first, it's one zip. In that situation, you're looking to get something up in the zone that you can put in the air. Worst case scenario, a sacrifice fly to drive in that runner from third. It's a first and second with two outs. And here is John Carlos Stanton. That's in there. Strike one. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. Next pitch is outside. Downstairs. Judge, the lead runner at second. Soto on at first with two down. Hey. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Two men left stranded, but they do push across one. Second inning coming up in the Bronx. Yankees won, and the Jays nothing. More from the Bronx, and now it's Dalton Varsho. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Cortez, a former All Star, 29 years old, a former first round pick back in 2017. On the ground, a third. Rolls across the diamond, and a quick out number one. Turner climbs in on that right side. So easy to look at the big boys in this lineup, but he has been a pleasant surprise all season long. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. Soto snags it on the run. And now to the plate, here's the Toronto DH.
Hard hit left side. Over to first. And that's the third out. Down in order go the Blue Jays. And it remains 1-0. And here the is Anthony Rizzo. Anthony Rizzo. You know, Boo, from time to time, players mix up their routine if things aren't going their way. And Rizzo is no exception. When he was in a slump in 2023, he changed his walk-up music to Taylor Swift. No bad blood there because it worked. He went four for four and hit his first home run in over a month. He even gave credit to Swift after the game. And yeah, that's off the inside edge and the count is one and one rusty valentine doing the umpiring behind the dish for us maybe the best name in the league <laughs> yeah that's a solid one no doubt i mean who's better to ask than you i kind of wonder if rusty is his actual name or just a nickname yeah no clue right-hander kicks deals oh. Misses outside, and the count is even two and two. Anyways, Rusty's got a good zone, very good on the corners of the plate, but he'll give pitchers a little bit above the letters and below the knees if they're earning it. Line drive, base hit. So, runner aboard to start the inning. Anthony Volpe stepping in now for the Yankees. Really strong hitting performance recently. Can make it a five-game hitting streak with a knock in this one. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. And the righty deals. And there's a foul ball. Rizzo aboard here at first with nobody out. Light drive and a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Now it's LeMayhew up to hit. And ball one. First and second, no outs. Bottom half of inning number two. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Well, that's that start right there. He threw it extremely well. Talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Fouls it off, still one and two. Kicks and deals. Sets him down on strikes. Not sure about that call. Pitcher might have gotten a friendly strike free. Well, definitely a borderline pitch right there. And he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. Those are tough ones to let go as a hitter. But with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. Labor Torres up to the plate. That one's in there on one. One out. Runners at first and second. Just oh, this. Here's the pitch. It's a double steal. There's a ball. And the throw. He's out of third.
And on second, two down. Swing and a ball popped up. Perdomo under it. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. One left for the Yankees, but they hold a 1 0 lead. Back at Yankee Stadium, here's the second baseman, Santiago Espinal. The pitch. Just off the outside edge. The pitch. Fall off foul. And there's a ball. There's a swing and a drive. That's back. And forget it. Third home run of the season, and we're all square. It's 1 1. Wow, what a clutch swing right there. And now anything can happen in this game. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Alejandro Kirk next up for the Blue Jays. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. And the pitch a little bit low. One ball, ball one. No Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. Nobody on, nobody out with a run in here in the second game of the series. That one ripped right center field, and it's into the gap. Now he'll turn for second. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Everything came together for him. I'll now tell you. Man, it's such a good feeling when you smoke the line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure, home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a bolt the other way. Back to the top of the lineup, Geraldo Perdomo. Next up for the Blue Jays. That one fouled off. Man at second. That's in there. And that is strike two. The real threats are coming up. Already given up a home run in this inning. It's going to really have to bear down. going way back possibly the best center fielder I've ever seen ripped on a line Soto makes the catch for the out and there's two away here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion, and he's in full no, speed. Ball one there. Vladimir Guerrero Jr., that swing so reminiscent of his dad. Lots of pop. That pitch is downstairs. No, no, no need to go right at this guy. First base is open. He can hurt you, so make him expand his zone. If he doesn't, give him a walk. Next offering is in for a strike. And another ball. 
Good pitchers make pitches in big situations, and right here with the middle of the order hitter up, runner in scoring position, he's got to find a way to throw a quality strike. Second with two down. That's to third. Tosses to first. And Guerrero is set down. They limit the damage here. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. All even at one apiece. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back now in the Bronx, yeah, and the left game fielder, game. Alex Verdugo. And the pitch. Hit on the ground to the right side. Oh, and oh. foul ball. Next offering is downstairs. One and one. Righty to the plate. Right down the shoot. And a count one and two. That's down and in. That one ripped. And George makes the grab. And Verdugo is set down. One away. Man, that's, that's one, one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's Aaron. about the process. He did everything yeah. right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. Judge oh, oh. takes low second trip to the plate in this one. Ground ball right side. Oh, he gloves it. Throws from his knees. Nicely done for the out. Now, I wasn't sure if he was going to get to this one or not. Had to go a pretty good way there in the shallow right field. But then after that, it's a tough angle after you square up your shoulders and throw to first base. Not the normal position, but a really good job defensively right there. Juan Soto now. One for one with a single so far. That's inside. But Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Hit high. Seeing the ball well, and he's got his timing locked in. He's looking pretty dangerous at the dish right now. Well, I'm not really sure how he kept that fair when you're out in front of a breaking ball like that. It's such a good chance that it's going to put foul, but not this time. He kept the hands moving forward just long enough to sneak it inside that foul ball. Austin Wells stepping in now for the Yankees. And the first pitch misses for ball one. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now, doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. Wouldn't no. chase that time. Two balls, no strike. One run across in the frame so far here in the last half of the third. Next That's offering high. upstairs. Barrios, maybe a little less aggressive on the mound right now after that home run, Chris. Yeah, it seems that way. You know, guys, they can come out, feel good, but then all of a sudden get touched up a little bit, and they start trying to... Well, got to pause on that thought. 
as that'll do it for the inning. Another look at the long ball for the Yankees. And it's now a 2-1 ball game. Back in New York, new inning getting started. Here's George Springer to start it off. George. Springer was part of a really good draft class in 2011, Boo. 12 of the top 20 picks became MLB All-Stars. Few position players went ahead of Springer in that draft, including Anthony Rendon going sixth, and then Frankie Lindor and Javi Baez went back to back with picks eight and nine. Foul ball there. Here's the 0-2. Makes through that one, it's a strikeout. And there's one down. Just overmatched on that fastball right there. And it wasn't like he was set up for it by something off speed earlier in the at bat. Just came right after him with three straight, and he had no answer for it. So up next, Dalton Varsho. Oh. That one a little bit high. What ball enough. one. Base is empty, one away. Top half of inning number four. Oh. And another ball. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up. And that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. That oh. one's in there. Two and one now. Right through there for a strike. <laughs> on the ground to third. Throw on to Rizzo. Two quick outs here in the top of the four. Now that one. The third base. Just on the ground. Here's Turner now. He's 0 for 1. And first offering is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. And ball one. And a good eye there. That clips the corner. And down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Nothing doing for the Blue Jays. They're down 2-1. to one. Back at Yankee Stadium. And here is Giancarlo Stanton. And a pitch. Just missed. Next offering is down low. The pitch. That one misses. And it's 3 0. And there's a strike to Giancarlo Stanton. That one you, misses. So a leadoff walk. You know, Boog, it's been said these guys are savages in the box. You can see it right there with such tight plate discipline. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. And he's already singled in this game. Fastball for a strike. One one. There was a high velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. He's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it. And that's outside. One and one.
to first. Might be two. On a second, they get one. Relay to first, double play. I mean, that's one of the toughest double plays to turn on the infield. The first baseman has to get inside, create a throwing lane to hit that middle infielder to start the double play, and then from there, completing it back to first. Really good job all the way around. Anthony Volpe stepping in now for the Yankees. And first offering is fouled off. Two outs, bases empty. He swings and fouls one off. Righty delivers, spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Cut on and miss, struck him out. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down one, two, three. Here in New York, Maybe top five, go, 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 go. John Shabby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, number 36. Nice. Cortez back to work. Ball one, no strikes. Well, these Blue Jays just lacking discipline at the plate in this ball game. Chasing pitches has been a big part of this. Well struck left field. It one hops off the wall. Should be extra bases. Relay throw to second. Not in time. He's got a double. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking about right there. Just a solid swing right there. Got it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. Santiago Espinal next up for the Blue Jays. He's already homered in this game. That clips the zone. Strike one. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Hauls it in for the out. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open okay. instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. And now for the Jays, Alejandro Kirk doubled his first time up. Just missed. One ball. Okay. That one misses, and it's 2-0. Well, this is a little tough for the hitter in the back of the mind. You're wondering with first base open, am I going to get a pitch to hit? Got to stay back. Swing, and this one's blasted. It's got a chance. And it hops over the wall for an automatic double. A run comes in on the play. He puts a great swing on that pitch and drives home the run. And that was always going to be a double, but the bounce over the wall just took the guesswork out of it right away. It was a nice swing. Now, Geraldo Perdomo, one for two. And yeah, that's a little bit high. And that's ball one. One out and a runner at second. He swings, floats it into left, oh. and it's just foul. That was close. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. 
Tosses the first. Now two away. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Here's Kevin Kiermeyer. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. Flips the corner, and it's 0-1. Two outs. And he takes one right on the black. And it's nothing in two. He's clearly out there throwing pitchers' pitches in this situation. First base is open. He walks him. No big deal. The pitch. Not close with that one. And that's ball one. Well, he missed badly with that 0-2 fastball. The hitter has to understand. Probably wants to try to put him away with that pitch. So got to stay ready for it. And now it's one and two. We'll chase that time. That one hit to right. Soto gets under it. Brings it in. And that's the third out. One run, a pair of hits, no errors, and one left on. Home half of the fifth coming up. We are tied 2-2. Welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the inning, and stepping in for the Yankees, DJ LeMayhew. LeMayhew. The right hater back to work. And a strike there to LeMayhew. LeMayhew, multi-time All-Star, a member of the 1,000 Hit Club, and he was a second-round pick back in 2009. One-one now. That one hooked foul. Packs and misses. It's a strikeout. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone yeah, right there. Yeah, I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead the count, get the guy in the box on his heels, and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Here's Glaber Torres. And that's in there at the knees for a strike. Tied up, last half of inning number five. One that and one. misses, and it's one and one. And a strike to Glaber. Down, base is empty. Got him looking. And there's two away. Now, now, now the number no two hitter, Alex Verdugo. First pitch misses. Oh, he's got to be pretty proud of this outing so far. Sometimes guys cower coming into a ballpark like this, but he is attacked hitters. Pitching on the road like this is very impressive. This has been a treat to watch. Swing and a bouncer. Fires over to Guerrero. What a play. Inning over. Offense held a check there. Five innings complete. We are tied 2-2. Jr. now 
singing. He's a guy that covers both sides of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? Oh, I'll just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You'll see how hard it is. These guys are great, man. They have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn on the inside pitch. Those that can really sharpen things on the outer half, those are the ones that become elite. And that one fouled off. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Late on that fastball. Good fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. And another ball. That pitch just misses the inside corner, and that's ball three. Bounced up the middle. In plenty of time to first. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Here's George Springer. Struck out on just three pitches last time. Springer signed with Toronto after playing seven seasons with the Astros. And one cool thing about his contract, Boog, is he made sure to include hotel suites for road trips just like you. And he might have the best room on the team for this series. And now the lefty. One ball, one strike. On the ground to third. That takes care of Springer. So up next for Toronto, Dalton Varsho. There's a strike. And it's strike two. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing out there most of the time. Two down, nobody on. One that misses. misses. Gonna count one and two. The other way, and it stays fair. Around first, heading for two. The throw in, but he's in there easily. That was a thing of beauty. He may have been a little behind the pitch, but by getting that barrel into the hitting zone early on in his swing, he was able to meet it and still shoot a line drive down the line and left. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. So now Turner in on that right side. He's been a great free agent side. And that one fouled off. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit's probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Trying to keep this a 2-2 game. And we're in the top half of the sixth. Right through there for a strike. Action in the pen down there. Ron Marinaccio getting loose out there for Aaron Boone. Efros getting loose as well. Skips in the dirt. Fights that one away. Still one and two. Man on second, two down. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. Next offering way off the plate. Number 36 in the on-deck circle. Go-ahead run at second. Here in the second game of the series. 
Well hit the other way. That one going back and foul. The pitch is probably thinking he's a little late on that pitch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed him up, not give him something off speed that he can handle. And it's second. Good Thank play appearance mate. there. Able to take the walk. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Oh, a great back and forth in that at bat. He had to play off some really close pitches, and somehow, Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Number 36 in the box now. Take strike one. That's a real nice cutter right there. I mean, this guy can struggle with the inside pitch at times. So I'd say that's pretty effective if you can continue to command it on that side of the plate. And fouled off. Missed inside with the curb. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Next one misses, and the count is two and two. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Pulled the string and the changeup. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field. Back in the Bronx, it's Aaron Judge now. He's a guy who does it all. With the lack of contact in today's game, this guy hits for contact, so he delivers average but there's on base and slugging too. The sliding stop at short. Gathers and throws, and very nicely done for the out. We saw a few skills on display there for the out. The technique was great, reaction time was there, and the slide was smooth. Go, go. Watching that play come together was really fun. And now it's Juan Soto. He's already homered here in this one. And takes low for ball one. Missed. Got to be real careful here. 2 0. He's hunting for his pitch. Base is empty, one away here in the bottom of the sixth. That misses the zone, and now 3 0. <laughs> and that one oh, off the inside edge. You walked him. Well, this came apart right there. Four pitch walk, and oh, the guy to play was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of his own. And here's the catcher, Austin Wells. That one misses. That's five straight. Put away off that pitch okay. down. Soto leads off first with one away. Grounder might be two to second for one. And that's two. They made it look easy, but it started with a nice feed to the second baseman from the shortstop. Perfect turn, and they're out of this jam. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Ron Marinaccio. And he's done a great job keeping the ball in the park this year. The numbers stack up with some of the best in the game. And now for the Jays, Santiago Espino. Santiago And a pitch. And there's a breaking ball that drops in there. Dangerous spot for that slider right there. Didn't seem to quite finish out front and get that sharp break. Tell you what, he doesn't want to throw that pitch again. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. Makes the grab. One up, one down. Now, Matt. Alejandro. Kirk. 
And now the catcher comes up to him. Alejandro Kirk. And a foul ball. And the right hander deals. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Sizes this one up. Snags it for the second out. Hey man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. Geraldo Perdomo next up for the Blue Jays. One for three. That one's in there. Going one. Two down, nobody on. Here at the top half of inning number seven. Swung on, belted. That one is back. That's long gone. It's his sixth home run of the season. Just like that, they move in front. It's 3-2. Pitcher, the odds are in your favor if you keep that breaking ball down. That time, he got punished for it. Hitter just did a really good job of staying within himself and getting the barrel to the baseball. And next for Toronto, Kevin Kiermeyer. And first offering is fouled off. Well, on the mound, this is a spot where he's got to treat this as a clean inning. Forget about the home run. Forget about now being behind on the scoreboard. Start fresh and get those hitters back up to the plate as quickly as possible. Two outs. Woo. Right through there for a strike. That one 95 to finish him off. One in the inning, and it comes from a rather unlikely power source. It's now a 3-2 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Here at New Yankee Stadium in the Bronx, set for the last half of the seventh. Now it's the DH, Giancarlo Stanton. Barrios back to work. Swing and a miss. Go it's 0 -1. 1. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Chad Green, the veteran right-hander, appears to be loosening up. Swanson also getting ready. Looking to get the tying run on base. Gets the call. Oh, a two down. Kicks and fires. Oh, Ooh. just misses there. Well played umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. Puts it in the air out towards left center. And that fall for a base hit. And that puts the tying run on base. Well, that was an important event in this game, so a great job there stepping up to the challenge. These days, most outfielders play pretty deep, and I'm not sure if that was a factor there or not, but off the bat, you're thinking it's going to be a pop out, and it just kind of nestled into that spot where no one was able to get to it. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. That's all for Jose Barrios, and we'll be back with their first arm out of the pen after a quick break. Tim Mesa takes over on the mound. These are the spots where relievers really make a name for themselves. Late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. And now the first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. Big swing and a miss with a single base runner because of all the power. They are dangerous to tie this thing up or take the lead. Oh, 
Chu now. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. The 0-2. To the right side. Base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Oh, just a nice job oh, coming oh, through. Oh, 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 high leverage oh, spot oh, right there. Oh, got oh, rolled oh, over oh, on this pitch a little bit, oh, but he oh, got oh, enough oh, behind oh, it to oh, shoot oh, it through for a knock. And we'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. Now we'll see if they can pick up that tie and run and start us over here in the late innings. Anthony Volpe stepping in now for the Yankees. Take it high in the draft. He's had that top prospect label over him since he put on a professional uniform. But at some point, that starts to go away, and you've got to produce at the big league level. He's got some good opposite field power. What, what I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. There's a strike. One and one. So the tying run at second. Foul ball still, one and two count. And here it comes. That's, That's off the mark, and it's two and two. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. Two-two now. Oh! At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. DJ LeMayhew waiting for a turn at the plate. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. And the pitch. In the air, right field. Springer there makes the catch, and there's one away. Up, up, up. The third baseman, TJ. Loves hey, hey. Two on, one out. Up to the plate steps DJ LeMay here. Goes over two with a pair of strikeouts. One the other way, and it goes just foul. So all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. There's a strike at the knees, and it's 0-2. Got him! And now two gone. Trevor Richards taking over on the mound. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Here is Glaber Torres. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, but not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. Big spot, two out, both the tying and go-ahead runs are aboard. Fall off foul. Two on, two outs. That's the third, Turner. Whips it across, yep, inning over. That's a crucial missed opportunity. Yank strand a pair, and it's still a 3-2 ball game. Ready to begin the eighth, and now for the Jays, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. And he deals. Hard hit, right side. And that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. 
Now back at right fielder, George Springer. And it'll be George Springer to step to the plate. 0 for 3 with two ground outs and a strikeout. And that's in for a strike. Marinaccio, a 6-2 righty. He features a four-seam fastball, a changeup, and he works in a slider. Up the middle. To first, that takes care of Springer. The left fielder, number 25, Dalton Varsho. Dalton Varsho getting ready to hit. A former first round pick and he's really turned into a nice everyday player. And that's in there for strike one. That one missed. One ball, one strike. outside and a count two and one nasty backdoor slider there's really nothing you can do with that if you swing at it so that's a good take by him oh. and that's off the inside edge ball three right three. through there for a strike Swing and a miss, struck him out. And the Blue Jays go down one, two, three. Nothing doing for the Blue Jays, and it remains a 3 2 ball game. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Chad Green gets an opportunity to square off against his former team, so I wouldn't be surprised if he came out a little extra jacked up right here. And stepping in for the Yankees, Alex Verdugo. Here comes a pitch. And a foul ball left side. Right-handed reliever. And it's strike two. No ball. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. Pretty big strikeout right there to start this eighth inning. Uh -huh. Down one. Uh -huh. Any uh -huh. leadoff base runner really makes yeah, this right. inning a bit more interesting. Yeah. But now this offense has to switch from possibly trying to manufacture a run to needing to run into something or just try to string multiple hits together to get a run across the plate. Aaron Judge at the plate. This guy with light tower power. On the ground, right side, and he grabs it, foul. One down, base is empty. And that one fouled off. Next offering is in the dirt. Oh, two count. You've got the opportunity to expand the zone. Could get the chase there. Let's see what he comes back with next. One, two now. Little oh. chase that time. Well, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, too, too. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. 2 2 on the way. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Next pitch. 
which is downstairs. That's a really good take. Juan Soto on deck for the Yankees. At the belt and fires. Well, the drive has a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. He needed out well. It's been a tough stretch to the play lately. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on the line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. And now, Juan Soto. And that one fouled off. With the go-ahead run at the plate, here the bottom half of the eighth inning. Now I wanted to one. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. Left hand batter waits. Fouls it off, still one and two. Kicks and deals. Fights that one away, still one and two. Left hand hitter waits. And another ball. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Two gone now. Well, that's such a critical pitch in terms of execution right there. The pitcher has to finish it. Otherwise, probably gets hit pretty hard. If you leave that out over the plate or you don't get it down enough, quickly turns into something that gets smoked. But if you can place it where he did, it's a really deceptive pitch. Here's the catcher to hit, Austin Wells. One ball. Not Go even track. close there, and it's one to know. Typically, the outfield defense will play a little bit deeper just to keep the ball in front, make sure that runner on first doesn't come all the way around to score and tie this ball game up. Fastball in for a strike, and the count one and one. Well, we call that keyhole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. On the ground. Fires over to Guerrero. That ends the inning. The Yanks leave one. They're down three to two. It's the top of the night, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Scott Efros. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Justin Turner now. The third base base is number three. Wow. Justin. The pitch. Ball one there. Really? The pitch. That oh, one boy. finds the zone. And a count even at one. Comes up empty, that's strike two. A nice slider so far in this at bat to get ahead in the count, and it clearly shows there was a game plan in mind for how to attack him in the box. The one two. Just oh, off the on. inside edge. Goes down looking. 
saw a solid effort out of their starter, and the bullpen is following suit. It's just a good day as a manager or as a pitching coach when you can hand the ball off to multiple arms and get stability from all of their performances. Now it's the Toronto designated hitter. First no, offering and it just misses. One run game here in the top of the ninth. And a good eye there. Activity in the bullpen for the Yankees. Ian Hamilton getting loose out there for Aaron Boone. Gonzalez getting cranked up as well. One down, base is empty. Two and one. And that one fouled off. Ground ball left side oh. and that's just foul. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Left field. Verdugo gets under it. And he makes the catch. Out number two. Now batter. The second baseman. Santiago. Espinal. Now it's the second baseman, Santiago Espinal. He blasted one out earlier in the third. Just a solo home run, but an important swing of the bat in this game. We've already seen him do it once. Can he do it again? And first offering is fouled off. Not looking like they'll be adding any insurance runs heading to the bottom of the ninth, so it's going to be on the bullpen to hold this lead. Two down, nobody on. That one lifted to left. Verdugo running hard. Flashes the leather on the running catch. And that is that. Welcome back, and here comes the closer, Jordan Romano. Well, he's the guy they hope to turn to out of the pin to lock down wins, so this game has gone to plan, more or less. Let's see if he can wrap it up here. John Carlos standing to the plate now. Well, that's not sure looking for a guy to get that tight run on base, but because of the power, you want him to tie up the game with one swing here. And a pitch. And fouled off. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. On the ground, right side. Tosses the first. One out, bottom of the nine. Good arm out of that same side hitter right there. Very difficult to put that ball in the air or get through it. Just put his hand on the hands. He's two outs away. Stepping in, Anthony Rizzo. Pitch just misses. Trying to close out a one run lead. Yeah, the home team trying to pull it out. Played inside and now two and zero. Oh. Well, an interesting situation. One swing you can tie up the ball game, but if you're patient and work a walk, then you bring the game-winning run to the plate. 
next offering is in for a strike. Two balls, one strike. Swung on and there it goes. It is high. to these fans. This place is absolutely buzzing right now. You can feel the energy all the way up here in our broadcast booth. ready to turn on the inside fastball so direct to the pitch absolutely blasted out of this ballpark the batter will be the shortstop Anthony Volpe oh. breaking ball inside 1-0 and oh. the ground right side fires over to Guerrero yeah they get the out those plays can be tricky they're routine but that doesn't mean it's always going to be smooth he delivered a good play right there here's DJ LeMay you three pitch strikeout last time up got to put up more of a fight in this one Missing low. Movement in the Blue Jays' bullpen. Jimmy Garcia up and loosening in the pen. Right through there for a strike. One run across in the frame so far. Here the last half of inning number nine. And another ball. Trying to send this extra innings. Liner, base hit. Well, he's been having a hard time just putting the ball in play in this one. So that should help soften the blow. Nice line drive on the ball side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Looks like we've got a substitution at first. On a pinch run, Oswald Peraza. So the lineup flips over. Here's Glaber Torres. Romano with a move to first. Back standing. He's in there safely. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. That one fouled hard the other way. Two outs. That one finds the zone. And a count is 0-2. Two. two really good back-to-back -back sliders. Now in an 0-2 count. He's feeling real confident about finishing this hitter off. He can go anywhere he wants. Strike him out again. That's the third out. And we'll play extra innings in this one. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Now into the ball game on defense, Oswald Peraza. He's the new third baseman. Back in New York, we're in extras here. Here's the Toronto catcher, Alejandro Kirk. The pitch. Just missed. Well, it's kind of deflating. You blow that lead in the bottom of the ninth, so here's a new opportunity. Hit the reset button, try to get some more runs, and then close it out in the bottom half of this one. 
On the ground to short. In plenty of time. The first one away in the top half of the 10. Looks like we've got a substitution at second. Coming on to pinch run for Toronto. Rafael Lantigua. So up next for Toronto, Geraldo Perdomo. Known for his late inning heroics. And that one clips the corner. One out. The go-ahead run is at second. Efros checks the runner. And he's back in there. Swings and pulls a foul to the right side. situations call it clutch if you want but his resume speaks for itself one down runner at first here's the center fielder Kevin Kiermeyer. that one pulled foul One run across in the frame so far here in the top half of the 10. Ripped to third and cut. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. Next to hit, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. 0 for 4 with three ground outs and a fly out. First pitch and he just misses. And another ball. 2 0. And a pitch. Started to go after it. Now we'll look down to first. And no swing, says Jerry Hillsdale. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. That one finds the zone. And now 3-1. And the righty deals. That clips the corner. Great one by the spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. Two outs. And there's oh, ball four. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. And the batter is George Springer. 0 for 4 with three ground outs and a strikeout. Ryder clips the corner. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. Oh. 
fouled off. He was late. First and second, two down. Here in extra innings. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now a 4-3 ball game. Major League Baseball is on the show. Now into the game, Rafael Lantigua. Now he'll play second. Number 66. Back now in the Bronx, ready to go for the last half of the inning. And stepping in for the Yankees, Alex Verdugo. It's so important to stay within yourself, especially for this hitter. Not known to be a power guy or a home run hitter. He needs to set the table by getting on with a walk or a base hit. There's a strike. Well, comfortable or not, these are the situations closers, they seem to live for. I mean, you get into some hot water, a jam, tough spot, whatever you want to call it, but this is where they earn their keep. Oh, he doesn't get the call. And one and one. one. Close pitch there, and he's kind of wondering where it missed. You know, getting a feel for each umpire's strike zone is something that pitchers and hitters really have to think about and work on from game to game, and sometimes from a bat to a bat. Out of bounce right side, Lontigua. And here in the tenth, the leadoff man is out. Now center Aaron. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. That misses. Ball one. That one missing inside. That misses the zone. And now 3-0. Juan Soto waiting to hit for the Yankees. Swings and misses, and the count is three and one. The pitch. Judge comes up empty there. Talk about tying a guy up. That was ugly. With the tying run at third, winning run at the plate, and we're in the last half of the tenth. Foul ball left side, he'll see another. Three, two. Chases the fastball up the ladder, struck him out. Big strikeout right there, and that kind of takes the pressure off the defense a bit. It was in, so now they can move back, give themselves more time on a grounder to make a play. A lot more ways to work out of this and strand that runner at third now. So they're down to their final out. So now the Yankees' cleanup hitter, Juan Soto, in there for strike one. Righty delivers. Fought off foul. With the winning run at the plate. And here in extra innings. Ground ball, Vlad Jr. Steps on the bag himself. Ball game. So this is a big win on the road going extras in the 10. Uh, so hard to pull those out, but I think this team did a great job of keeping the crowd out of the ball game late. When you can do that, it kind of calms everything down, keeps the adrenaline of the opposing team down a bit, and you can steal a win and get out of here happy. 4-3, our final score. A one-run extra inning win for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chubb. Thanks for joining us.
fans are final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Blue Jays, four runs on eight hits. No errors, they left seven runners on base. For the Yankees, three runs on ten hits. No errors, they left nine runners on base. Time for the ball game, three hours and seven minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you that we do.